All right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Telitimi and the Good Morning Nine Dash Show. Now, time for us to discuss something very, very important and very serious. Now, we don't hear of different kinds of diseases, hepatitis, we don't hear of HIV and AIDS, we don't hear of different kinds, but you don't hear about lupus. Well, um, lupus is not something where they affect the body. And we get the two cadet guests with us today with us to talk more concerning this. Join me, welcome the co-founders of the Laba Laba Foundation, Mrs. Chisa Nosamiefan, and then Dr. Aisha Akinkube. Good to have you. Good morning. Now, first of all, tell me, what be the Laba Laba Foundation and how did it come about the name? Laba Laba Foundation, the Laba Laba Foundation for Lupus Advocacy and Awareness. Our vision be say we get a time where everybody from Nigeria go know waiting lupus be. Mm -hmm. Just as everybody from Nigeria know waiting malaria be, mm -hmm. know waiting cancer be. Even know waiting AIDS be. Okay. The time will come where everybody go know waiting lupus be. All right. So why that name Laba Laba? Laba Laba, um, for lupus, they get one thing where anybody will get them when you see them for the person. You know, lupus, most of the symptoms where we get, where they get, in, they, they're difficult to know what okay. the thing be. But when you get, they, they get one kind of rash where they come like this, where they look like butterfly for oh. face. Uh -huh. When you get that rash, you know, seeing a lupus. And because of that, the symbol of um, uh, uh, lupus, now purple butterfly. So when we look for a name, we, we, we begin to think wow. which kind of name we go yeah. use. And then Laba Laba and Butterfly, so we call her Laba Laba. I understand now. Let me speak with Dr. Chisa. Now tell me, what can be this um, lupus? Okay, so lupus is now, one kind of disease where we say, now, inside your body, it's okay. what we call autoimmune. Okay, so your body could come to fight itself. Hmm. So be like, say, AK-47, go there inside the body, go just turn. So all your cells that are meant to protect you from infection, they just become AK-47, so they're firing bullets everywhere. And what is important about it is the fact that it affects almost all the organs of the body. So if it affects your skin, if it affects your brain, your heart, your kidney, your muscles and your joints, um, it can affect even your reproductive system too as well. And like um, Chisa mentioned about that butterfly rash, although it's not everybody that has the butterfly rash characteristically, but other skin type of things, you know, are also showing on the body as wow. well. Now, what will be the symptoms of this lupus? Like, uh, you know, say malaria, once your body starts to be hot, your mouth is bitter, and uh, we can easily attribute it to malaria. Now, our person will take no say, come I don't they get symptoms of lupus. You see, you see uh, the thing about lupus, say, uh, it mimic everything. You see what you say about malaria? Not the same Your thing. feet get pain for body, uh, joints go to pain you get fever, uh, fatigue, and be one tire, big where, where? Ah, that tire, no, be just a tire. Oh, I, I walked plenty yesterday, I tire, but fat, real fatigue, extreme fatigue. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, other things we say, get, get, for, for some people, like, she, like doctor don't say, they attack organs. So some people, kidney failure. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, heart problem. Some people, uh, of course, the rashes, way, hair loss. Uh, miscarriage. So you see lupus feet look like anything. Uh, hair. Miscarriage, hair loss, rashes, um, cough, fatigue, cough. Kind of cough. That is, you know, you, mm -hmm. the cough doesn't, you take antibiotics a little bit or you see your doctor, you know, they treat you for that. But the thing called just they come back, you know, and like mm -hmm. you talk, hair loss, then other rashes, then the body where they exposed to the sun. sun. So mm -hmm. they get rashes on the sun exposed um, areas of the body as well. Then joint pain early morning stiffness, you know, you're just unwell. And really, a lot of the people, when we find it, when they finally get the diagnosis, you can see, say, their story, go day, say, then they get malaria all the time. Mm -hmm. um, loss of weight, mm -hmm. fever, mm -hmm. mm? low-grade fever, always feeling tired, like she mentioned. So really and truly, people go think, say, na malaria. So I think even the message should be that if you don't go doctor to treat you once, twice for malaria or typhoid, and you know improve, and then you have all these other things too. Make person they think say ah, it's better you even say okay, check me whether I get lupus. So, how you feel say mm -hmm. our um, hospital facilities? It they cajad enough to detect the person get lupus. It they cajad, but mm -hmm. the thing be say 
is the awareness. Yeah, yeah. Because as she mentioned, it they mimic everything. I know even mentioned the brain. Person fit present with depression. Person fit pre prevent with mania. Person fit present like say na psychiatric problem. Mm -hmm. But it is the condition as well. You could just stay depressed, just lock yourself, not talking like uh, other types of psychiatric uh, problems. Do you understand? They could just carry you go arrow. Then after maybe loss of weight go come. Maybe then now uh, the rash go come out. We be say person go just they think say ah okay oh. What did they happen? You know. Then even your urine too. If it's a kidney, your urine fit the foam. Wow. And you because know? of that, we the uh, part of what in Labaraba they do, they do educational workshops for doctors, family doctors. Exactly. Signs and symptoms. So, 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 so that they so they so they can quick, quick, quick recognize, recognize the thing. Things. I actually just mm -hmm. want to ask that question because there's one thing about sensitizing the people about lupus mm -hmm. and also sensitizing the people we're supposed to protect the, the people. First, the front line doctors. Because we realize, say, the front line mm -hmm. doctors, we realize, say, when you go to hospital, mm -hmm. the first thing they will tell you to make you go do tests on malaria. malaria. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get malaria. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can see just a tiny trace of malaria. Start mm -hmm. to detect malaria. Mm -hmm. um, so You're I like the fact that they educate the 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 doctors help, as yeah. regards to this. But let's talk about something where it's today very important. Now, when we for Nigeria, we hear some kind of diseases like that or some kind of sickness like that, mm. we will just feel and feel say, now white man problem. Uh -huh. Oh, why we go play but appetitis? Not mm -hmm. be Nigeria problem, Jave. Mm -hmm. We know they suffer from that. Mm -hmm. We go just go inside forest, carry leaf, chop mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. go there, okay. Mm -hmm. Not be our problem at all. Mm -hmm. Should we be worried in Nigeria as regards to lupus? I okay. think so. Yes, I think so. And the reason being is that lupus is predominantly women of African descent. Wow. Childbearing age, 15 to 45. So we should be very worried, you know. Um, and um, so it's more prevalent in, in black people than it is in white, even though it's everybody, anybody, every, any organ, <laughs> you know, but... Now you just talk some to way they very way they give me goosebumps for my body. You say now women, mm. nine they actually get them. More nine women, one. nine to nine one. To one ratio. Nine? Wow. Ratio. Why? Why? Why we say now women more more women they get them more than men? Well, there are different theories, but you know there's also genetics, there's um, hormonal influence, you know, and then other things that um, affect lupus environment as well, you know. But you also have it also genetically um, connected as well, so you could have sisters, you could have aunties, and they're related. So really, when you, because of the genetic um, predisposition, you should also check yourself. So like a sister should also be checked, other women in the mm. family as well. And it may not be lupus, it could be another autoimmune condition. Now we know for, so we know for malaria, that they preach about mosquito nets. We know for um, typhoid, they will come outside, talk, say, try and drink clean water, try and eat healthy and rest of them. For lupus, is that something we need to take to protect ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Because the problem we say, they never find out what, they never fit find out what they hey, cost them. And so that's why it, cure hard to. Wow. Uh, because they don't find out what trigger that immune system. One thing we all know, say, when people will get lupus, all people will get lupus. They, 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 when they're born, they don't get lupus. Something happened to trigger them. That thing, we never, they never okay, find out okay. totally. Like doctors say, many different factors they contribute. look at contribute. Maybe this, maybe this, similarities. But the real cause, they never find them. Wow. Dr. Aisha, is lupus a death sentence? No. Okay. So if you get lupus, you me say it will kill you. No. It can kill you, but it doesn't have to kill you. Number one, quick diagnosis. So if the diagnosis is made on time, then the damage to the organs, because it's always, it's your kidney that will pack up. It's, um, those are the real main things. And okay, sorry, another thing we didn't mention was blood loss, anemia as well. Mm. So, you know, if you go and you have a very low blood count, mm. your white blood cells are low, your blood, you know, so they tell you take uh, transfusion or take um, vitamins and things like that. If that is happening too, that's another one that can be um, affected. So really, it's not a death sentence. People do live lives well, but it is, it, it's a struggle because, you know, it is something that affects your whole system, your family. So that's, you know, family, you need family support. So it's something that's affecting you so, so much financially and things like that. 
those are the key things. So th that's why the awareness, because we don't want a woman or a lady isolated by her family because of this illness that is affecting the whole family. You know what I mean? Taking draining on your resources, draining on your um, time as the well. Ability to care for her children. Yeah. Or Think, yeah. Or to have children because of the. You know, so we need men to be understanding. We need the family unit because it's the family that and supports. The and then, of course, the society where the lady works, okay. you know, if she's at school, the kind of support she would need. She would have days when she is just tired. That mm. tiredness, you know, is, is beyond explanation. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about the Lava Lava Foundation. Now, as regards to creating awareness, what would be some of the activities we do actually do to make sure this one, they come to reality? radio programs, TV programs, you know, to the public. We've also done um, symposia last year, ho hosting, um, we're marking the World Health Day, um, World Lupus Day, okay? And we've also, also done, come, which is coming up on tomorrow. Friday, tomorrow. That's May why we're here. May 10th World is World Lupus Day. And we've also done um, um, programs with doctors, nurses as well, and the family physicians. Mm. And then we've also gone to some, you know, um, schools, you know, that, that is in the pipeline, you know, whereby we go to the schools and educate the ladies, sorry, the young, the young, young ladies, ladies and men. <laughs> okay. So the secondary school students okay. as well. And we've also done, you know, in community outreaches, you know, we've done talks on um, lupus as well. What about the villages? Yeah. Because we don't this year stories, because if something like this happens, it's very easy for us to attribute them to witchcraft. Oh, mm -hmm. for your papa's side or your mama's side, they don't they book you, that's not why this particular thing they happen. Well, now they actually penetrate into those rural areas? Well, well we never reach that. We, we, we don't start from here. Okay. Because even in the, in the urban areas, people still they talk like that. Mm. Uh, and maybe some of us, even we come around with spirituality, we say, exactly. ah, God devil, forbid. we reject devil. in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Uh -huh. So, we, so we, we day here is one step at a time. That is our goal. We go get to the villages. But for now, if these people, like now, uh, one thing we they do is that we, we, we begin a support group for the lupus patients where we see so far. So they themselves begin, they, ha they are being educated. And they share started the knowledge. Living, we have a series called Living Well with Lupus series. And um, we do seminars too. If you can understand your own condition and you can educate the people around you, your family members, uh, we start. also provide um, free counseling for them if they need to do that. So things like that. So once we do this, and there's more awareness in the urban areas in the city, we can start stepping into the rural areas. And the challenge we have is that the specialist is the specialist for lupus and rheumatologist, and we don't have that many in Nigeria. Wow. Now, apart from that, I, I know say every foundation get their own challenges. Apart from that, what other challenge the Lava Lava Foundation they actually face? Ah, well, you know, you, you, you need financial support. But, oh, you know, yes. finance doesn't have to be in terms of cash. It could be partnering. Mm -hmm. Because you give me what, you know, we need, like, of course, media, you know, then um, ICT, you want partners, and then you want partners with the drug companies, because the drugs are not cheap as well. Then you partner with even a cancelling, like we cancel with um, Africa Relate. So at least that's, you know, that helps. We, they, they offer us that Africa yeah, really. relate Africa with that. So that's that's contribution, you know. And of course, partnering with the, the media and TV mm -hmm. outlets will help. And because we, have these, we have these, which are what we use for com community um, outreach. Okay. It says, you know, ask me, I can tell you about my lupus journey. There's another one mm. that will say, ask me, I know what lupus is. It gives you signs and the symptoms, symptoms just behind, a basic And just basic things. These are um, talking starters. So, you know, they call them palm cards that are talking starters, but some give these things out just for the, if the general public just understands and knows, then um, people are willing to partner and support and, and do things along the side with us. Mm. So if detected, how person you treat them? Is it medicine for life? Because I don't hear of some kind of sickness whereby you have to continuously um, they take the medication. So how, how the you treat them if detect, detected? Um, and for how long? That's a, I can't answer for how long. It could literally be for life, but you need to be in close contact with rheumatologists, like you mentioned, um, um, lupus, as well as a dermatologist who treats the skin. Now, depending on the organ affected, then a cardiologist could be brought in, a nephrologist could be brought in, okay? But then, you know, we start with cancelling. We talk of healthy living, you know, how they should eat, um, other things that they should do include, okay. um, you know, being healthy, okay? okay? Taking your drugs, staying out of the sun. 
sun is a very key thing, you know, to because mm. you need to use sunscreen because of, that can also trigger the flares. Then you need to um, take your drugs as well and visit your doctor. You would also have a lot of tests to do, initially right at the beginning, making a diagnosis and then later on monitoring, you know. So that's it. That's why that stress awareness is, a big, is key. Stress is a big trigger. And so one thing, important thing is that um, lupus, one diagnosed with lupus must learn the skill to stay away from stress mm. and stressful situations, stressful people, and stress, anything stress, stress, just run. Mm. But learn, even yourself, you know, sometimes we stress ourselves, what mm -hmm. we are thinking, what we're, yes. You need to learn, that's a great skill, because you reduce stress, less flares and less, mm. um, yes, episodes that you have. Let's not forget, say, healthcare for Nigeria, not, be, not that cheap at all. Now, with the series of tests a person needs to actually run, are you working with the Ministry of Health to actually make the, to make the access to healthcare as regards to lupus subsidized, sort of? Um, well, we haven't, we haven't uh, that, that is our goal, okay. you know, but in the meantime, the drugs are, the, even the medications are expensive, and so some patients are rationing their medication when they shouldn't, and things like that. So we started a program. Okay. It's called the Pillbox Program. It okay. is the uh, Prescription Assistance Program. So hoping that people, even individuals, can say, let me donate to that pill box program and okay. sponsor somebody. So that they, because they should, the mm. drugs that they take, they can't afford to go off and on because it makes the disease worse. Mm. So to consist, for them to be consistent, we help so that they can have their medication month mm. by month. Amazing. Thank you so much to your inside side of the house to tell us more, to educate the people more about something where they kill a lot of people and we don't even know. We don't even know, say, this particular thing, they uh, don't actually there exist for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. Now, if you want to reach out to your foundation, how can they? Okay, we are at, um, we have a telephone number. Maybe the website. The website is www.thelabalabafoundation.org. Okay. All right. And so when they go there, they go see all the numbers and emails and everything. It's well, the website is in process right now. But, okay. we, but we're on Facebook. Okay, we're please on give Facebook, us that. We're on Instagram. Instagram. So you can, we're on Twitter. You can check us out on, on social media. Laba Laba Foundation. Okay, Laba 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 we have Foundation. a telephone that's as well. The Laba okay. Laba Foundation, that's it. All right. Thank you so much, co-founders of the Laba Laba Foundation, Mrs. Chisa um, Nosami Efan and um, Dr. Aisha Akinkube. Thank you so much for your interest at the house to educate us more as regards to lupus. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.